Voice of Indonesia. Voice of Indonesia from Indonesia to the world. Welcome back to me, Ahmad Faisal. Well, today we have an interview with Indonesian ambassador to Republic of Serbia and Montenegro, Bapak Chandra Widya Yuda, with the theme celebrating the 78th Indonesia's Independence Day at the Indonesian Embassy in Beograd. Pak Chandra, how are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Pak Faisal. Thank you for having me. Uh, okay, nice to hear you and to see you right now. Okay. Okay, well, I probably say that Indonesia commemorates the indep- its Independence Day every 17th August every year. So, how will the Indonesian Embassy in Beograd commemorate the Independence Day of the Republic of Indonesia in Serbia this year? Well, uh, as always, uh, every year, uh, the Independence Day is celebrated in both informal and in informal fashion. Mm. Usually, we we conduct a flag raising ceremony uh, at the compound of the Indonesian Embassy here in Belgrade, uh, attended by embassy staff and their families, uh, members of uh, Indonesia Serbia Friendship Association, mm-hmm. uh, members of uh, dance group. We have a dance group here in Serbia uh, called uh, Bidadari. Wow. Uh, Bidadari basically uh, is a group, uh, dance group uh, of um, uh, Serbian, uh, Serbian uh, uh, young people, mm-hmm. uh, uh, girls, uh, female. Uh, they're, they're the alumni of uh, Indonesian government scholarship. They came to Indonesia, they went to Indonesia, and they studied there in Indonesia. They studied the uh, uh, art and culture. And when they come back to Belgrade, Serbia, they continue uh, their uh, uh, practice. They're practicing uh, Indonesian dances here. And, uh, of course, the uh, Embassy of Indonesia in Belgrade is fully... Uh, helping them, uh, mm-hmm. facilitating uh, with their activities. We provide room. We provide even uh, snacks and uh, foods mm-hmm. uh, to their practice in the embassy. So that's the, uh, uh, you know, the Bidadari uh, dance group. Uh, and uh, in informal fashion, includes uh, uh, organizations of games, mm-hmm. sports, Outdoor activities you know, for Indonesian communities and diaspora, and even uh, friends of Indonesia. For instance, uh, this year we organize sports and and games, games especially for children, and sports, of course, for uh, uh, teenager and and and, and uh, adult. Uh, in the uh, sport hall. Uh, the embassy of Indonesia. So we have we have a sport hall here at the embassy. <laughs> this, this embassy was built like more than forty years ago, and we had we have a sport hall. We have a, what we call the multi-function room. So we use those rooms, uh, the hall, you know, for the activities uh, of, of Indonesian community. So that's the the, the uh, activity and the events in the Indonesian embassy. But uh, later on. Uh, inshallah, in, in October, we will conduct a diplomatic reception for court diplomacy and our counterparts here in Serbia. But the 17th of August will mm-hmm. be a special one, special event, especially for Indonesian community, Indonesian diaspora here in, in, in Serbia. They will then come from various cities, uh, you know, from, from all over Serbia. To come to the embassy, you know, to uh, participate in the mm-hmm. play, uh, racing ceremony, and then uh, followed by usually a uh, uh, you know uh, an Indonesian festival kind of mm-hmm. a kind of uh, 
activities that uh, uh, provide Indonesian foods, Indonesian culinary, uh, and also some games. You know, usually uh, these these things are very much uh, uh, weighted in the Malaysian community. So that's perhaps uh, one of the programming events uh, that the embassy uh, is going to organize this year. Well, Mr. Ambassador, I'm really interested what you said before about, uh, say, the in informal event such as uh, sport game, <laughs> like you said before about uh, it is played by Indonesian diaspora there. My question is, yes. it is they, do they also uh, play uh, the sport game with uh, people of Serbia? Yes, yes. Uh... We usually uh, this uh, event uh, were not only attended by Indonesian community but also uh, by uh, members of the mm. uh, uh, what we call the Serbia Indonesia Friendship Association. You know they are Serbian. They have interest in Indonesia. They've been to Indonesia. Even sometimes they know Indonesia. You know uh, mm. from from their neighbors, their friends, and they. Uh, you know, consider mm -hmm. themselves as uh, friends of Indonesia. So the sports that uh, we played uh, uh, this year, like uh, previous years, uh, include uh, badminton, 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 ping pong, yeah, and then uh, other things. Usually, uh, uh, you know, uh, other games like uh, uh, perhaps uh, basketball, <laughs> it's just an exhibition, you know, and, 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 and uh, other, other, other activities or games. Uh, games for children mm. uh, include usually, like we, we know, you know, marble, when you carry marble, like uh, <laughs> in the nature is balap karang, and it's basically a marble. You, you put marble in a, a small spoon, and then you have to carry the marble. And then to reach a certain uh, point, so uh, yeah. whoever is the fastest and uh, will be the winner. So it's, it's like that. Though. Other 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 Indonesian traditional games uh, also played you know, during during the uh, event. You know, so this is this is uh, very interesting, and then uh, it's a good good for us to also introduce our tradition and culture to the local people, especially the Serbian. Some of them are quite amazed, you know, with the with mm. the type of games and sport. But they know that we've been uh, Indonesia, uh, you know, Indonesian team especially. Okay, uh, are good at badminton. So they they, they said that was good <laughs> because we have we have a badminton court in in, in our sport home. So uh, it's a, it's a, a very convenient, uh, you know. Okay. So, okay, Mr. Mr. Ambassador, you mean that when they play the sport game together, they can also uh, build people to people contact? Is it correct? Uh, you mean that uh, when we are playing, uh, people can also participate? Yes, I mean when Indonesian diaspora play uh, the game with people of Serbia, they can also build people to people contact. Oh yeah, sure, sure, definitely. You know, because uh, some Serbians are also interested in badminton. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, like like uh, for instance, our counterparts. You know, when when we mentioned to them that we have a badminton court at the mm -hmm. embassy, and they said, "Oh, I'm also playing badminton. Can I, can we uh, uh, come to embassy?" And then I said, "Yes, of course. Just just let us know, and then we will." We will facilitate and, and and then allow you to play to use the badminton badminton uh, court. Mm. This is the of course, uh, as you said, it is one of the very effective way to uh, strengthen people to people contact. Mm. But sometime you know uh, before the pandemic, uh, we before the COVID nineteen pandemic, uh, we usually organize a uh, a picnic like outdoor activities in one big park in, 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 in Serbia, in Belgrade. Uh, we, you know, dance pocho pocho there, mm. uh, omere, and other things. You know? And then the people uh, were present there, you know, 
sometime uh, uh, join us in uh, in 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 this uh, uh, outdoor activities that they they uh, dance pocho pocho together with us with with us with all the embassy staff and the, and, and, and our families and uh, members of Indonesian communities. While of course sometimes we also play <clears throat> uh, dance together with them. Mm. We dance. Uh, Kolo, Kolo dance. It's, it's a Kolo dance. traditional dance. <laughs> so we also uh, <laughs> dance with them, you know. And that really uh, uh, for you know, people to people contact and then uh, that is a mutual understanding by Indonesian and Serbian uh, people. So okay. Of course, and that, that's one of the, the best and effective tools and ways to strengthen people to people contact. Well, Mr. Ambassador, uh, do most, uh, I mean, do most uh, of Indonesian diaspora come from uh, university student or they are professionals worker or what? Can you explain about this? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, we have uh, around 15, 15 students now, mm -hmm. or Indonesian students who are now studying in, in uh, Serbia. They are recipient of the uh, Serbian government's uh, work in Serbia scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's, that's a for, for students. But the rest are usually uh, embassy staffs and their families. And of course, diaspora, diaspora, uh, usually, uh, you know, those who came to uh, Serbia and they got married here, you know, they have. Uh, they build families and they have extended families, and this this uh, also form the Indonesian community. So the these these are the the Indonesian community in the Indonesian diaspora in, in Serbia. So uh, and also Serbian who uh, used to work in Indonesia, they happen uh, live in Indonesia and now return to uh, Serbia, and they also consider themselves as as the Indonesian diaspora, and they came to uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, many events organized by the embassy. So we are, we are, uh, you know, okay. welcome to them. We are welcome to them. You know. Even some, uh, some of them, you know, came to Indonesia back in 1960s, you know, when uh, they're still part of Yugoslavia, and they still remember yes. uh, the, the time, you know, in, in Indonesia. Okay. So... Uh, Mr. Ambassador, how does uh, the Indonesian Embassy in Belgrade introduce Indonesian cultures to the people mm -hmm. of Serbia? Well, there uh, well, are various means. Um, first and foremost, of course, uh, through our activities. Mm -hmm. So we increase our presence, our presence uh, uh, through uh, our participation in uh, uh, cultural events. Uh, uh, you know, throughout Serbia, of course, through our uh, social media. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can look at our social media, we always uh, broadcast and post our activities, you know, for the local people to see, for local people to follow. And, of course, uh, through uh, uh, other activities like, uh, like uh, uh, Embassy Goes to School, you know, we, uh, go to uh, senior high school, mm -hmm. uh, school, secondary schools, you know, to uh, present and to give a uh, presentation about Indonesia, art and culture, and other things. And, uh, you know, through uh, collaborative activities with the organization here in Serbia, through uh, organizing events, culinary uh, events, you know, through uh, various things, many things, various uh, measures, various uh, activities have been uh, conducted by the embassy. Uh, we're actually aimed at uh, introducing Indonesia cultures, art and culture, uh, culinary, and, and, and we have also been participating uh, regularly mm -hmm. in uh, various uh, cultural events, culinary events in the city of Belgrade and other neighboring cities. Uh, we've been participating in an event called uh, Food Planet, where uh, we uh, could uh, 
present and display okay. showcase <laughs> uh, right of Indonesian food <laughs> so nasi goreng uh, uh, fried uh, uh, what is it uh, 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 fried noodle rendang oh. <laughs> uh, anything soto you know because we have uh, uh, many types of soto you know coming from <laughs> Indonesian uh, traditional uh, food <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, do you have any message for Indonesian people in Serbia during the commemoration of the Indonesian Independence Day? Well, uh, our message mm-hmm. has always been to, uh, you know, uh, be part of the, uh, wherever they, they live, you know, be part of the uh, the community where they reside, you know, and then, of course, uh, always to uh, be a good example mm-hmm. uh, for the Serbian people, what Indonesia, well, how Indonesian uh, people uh, uh, behave, you know. They're, 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 this, they're, this will set a good example, you know. The way you interact with your neighbor, the way you... Uh, uh, interact with uh, your counterpart who, who represent Indonesia. So uh, for them uh, during uh, during this uh, uh, anniversary, you know, this year, of course, we uh, our message would be to uh, always be part of a uh, 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 good Indonesian community and then uh, uh, also contribute. Mm-hmm. to the development progress, development uh, uh, program in Indonesia as, as we have the, the theme for this year is Terus Malaju untuk Indonesia Maju. Means like uh, you, we continue to, to uh, have uh, for a uh, prosperous Indonesia and advanced Indonesia. So that that probably the, the message we would like uh, to convey to the Indonesian community here. Okay, Mr. Ambassador, how how does the Indonesian Embassy in Beograd try to increase the understanding of the Serbian community about uh, bilateral relations between Indonesia and Serbia? Yes, uh, well, uh, you know, as I've said uh, earlier, that uh, mm-hmm. we have uh, a number of activities, both formal and informal. Yes. Uh, formal, of course, through uh, official channel. Uh, we met and then we engaged with our counterparts mm-hmm. from various uh, sectors, uh, you know, be they in uh, the government, uh, in the government institution or a non government institution, and through our communities, uh, you know, informally, uh, through uh, various activities. Uh, and uh, cultural or uh, cultural activities and other activities. Uh, we uh, organize, uh, you know, we are holding some uh, events, you know, to mm. basically uh, uh, not only introduce, but to to uh, give them more information. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, they have uh, uh, the, the understanding of it so will uh, increase, you know, in the future. So this is this is uh, one of the things we can use the, uh, our, our collaborative activities with the Serbian um, organization here. Uh, so uh, with, uh, through these uh, events, uh, we are hopeful that uh, the understanding of uh, Serbian people about the challenges will uh, be strengthened in the report. So this is this is uh, basically what we're doing. And uh, we are also collaborating with uh, various organizations, you know, mm-hmm. to uh, support their their programs. Uh, so their program uh, are in line with uh, with our mandate, with our uh, program, you know, to introduce Indonesia in uh, a wider sense, not only art and culture, but other things that we are uh, here to uh, put together to deliver prosperity, to, uh, you know, to increase uh, cooperation and, mm-hmm. and uh, in, in various sectors, economic, trade, 
and other things, education, health, uh, technology, uh, and, and and fellow sectors, basically. That's part uh, what we are uh, doing and we have to do. Okay. Uh, we Okay, finally, we are heading for the last question, Mr. Ambassador. Well, yes. uh, is there a special message that the Indonesian Embassy in Beograd wants to convey to the Serbian people regarding Indonesia, Indonesia, celebra Indonesia celebration of the Indonesian Independence Day? Well, uh, we, have, we have to work together. Uh, we have to uh, work closer, you know, for the benefit of our uh, respective people. Mm -hmm. And Indonesia is friend of Serbia, and of course, to the people of Indonesia, that Serbia is friend of Indonesia. We can always work together, and then uh, for, for uh, the benefit and for the progress of our uh, two people and two nations. Okay, thank uh, you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for your time and attention to have special interview today. Thank you, thank you once, once, once again for having me, and then uh, we wish you good luck, and then uh, uh, my warm regards to everybody, the voice of Indonesia. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Well, listener, that was our special interview with Indonesian Ambassador to Republic of Serbia and Montenegro, Bapak Chandra Widya Yuda. And I'm Amar Faisal, would like to say thank you very much and bye-bye. Voice of Indonesia.